Hey, it's Jasmine, and it's still summer here in Cape Town, which gives me the opportunity to enjoy uh, Sauvignon Blanc, which is my favorite grape cultivar of the white grapes, not of the red. And today I'm reviewing the Cedarburg Wine Farms uh, Sauvignon Blanc. As you can see, it's got a lovely pale yellow luminosity to it. There, there, there. Now you can see it sort of. Um, and it smells of clingstone peaches, guava, and uh, a little bit of green pepper. I'm not getting much of that on the nose. Um, this wine farm specifically is situated about 3,000 feet above sea level in very harsh conditions. So the vines produce very small but high yielding fruits uh, with the very concentrated flavors. Uh, this wine will go very well with bruschetta with a peach salsa and melted brie. Also your seafoods, you know, crab or crayfish or lobster, as, the, as you would call it. Um, also a fish, if you want to put one on the barbecue, that would be great. Um, I wouldn't recommend it really with a red meat. You could maybe do chicken. Um, otherwise, it's great for lunchtime. Just as a, if it's nice and if it's a hot day and you cool it in the fridge, please don't put ice in it. <laughs> that just ruins it completely. Um, well, I posted a link below that you can get it on Amazon. The one that is for sale on Amazon is a 2006 vintage, which has won quite a few awards, or I, I would rather say recommendations, from Wine Magazine as well as the South African Platter Guide. Uh, so it definitely is a very delicious and good, good tasting Sauvignon Blanc that I would personally highly recommend.